All right, here we go. Welcome, everyone. This is uh, Welcome to Freak Cinema. My name is Christian. We are... The day is finally upon us where uh, we have Crisis Core Reunion. Um, and what the fuck? What, what's going on? What's going on? I didn't even leave this thing idle for that long. Um, yeah, so it just came out today, and I am doing a 100% blind playthrough of it. I have never set in game. Oh, you can do Japanese or English. Interesting. Um. Yeah, we're definitely starting on normal mode. I have never played the original version of this game. Um. And I've actually just been. Uh, I, I just finished up my uh, playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, I'm now doing like all the bonus stuff, but I should be uploading that. Um shortly and I actually did have I was gonna upload today uh, but then realized this game was coming out so I thought it would be better to get a little bit of uh, time into this game and get started with the upload process for this now probably after this gonna start doing every other day uh, one day for crisis core one day for uh, remake um, and we'll just carry on that way or at least we'll see how it works more to the point, uh, I have never played uh, Crisis Core, so this is a completely new experience for me. And all of the new, or uh, all, all of like the like Final Fantasy YouTubers have been like getting advanced copies, and it's been like so hard to sit there and not uh, watch like the playthroughs um, or like look anything up about this because I knew I was wanting to do this uh, completely blind. So uh, let's see here, default camera. Screen brightness. Uh, should probably do a little bit on the brighter side because my TV tends to run a little dark. Okay. Yep, all that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. And I'm, I'm really excited to uh, see the uh, story behind Zack and all the stuff that went on uh, throughout Crisis Core. Uh, really, the only thing I know about this is the ending. That's about it. I don't have any other context to this. And I'm, I'm super stoked to get the, to get the full, full story behind Zack. Zack, focus. There are no Shinra troops on this train. Understood? Hello to you, too.
Zach speaking. Making progress, Zach. Angeal, what's going on? Why are we fighting Shinra troops? They are Wu-Tai troops in disguise. Now, head to the open area above. You mean towards Sector 8? Yes. But first, you're gonna have to clear a path. Clear a path? You'll see what I mean. Be careful. So I can cut loose, right? Within reason. It's showtime. Activating combat mode. All right. Let's see here. Basic battle controls. Um, move left stick. Move camera right stick. Seems easy enough. Um, target lock. Okay. It's R3. Um, square attack. R1 go. Okay. So it seems pretty similar, except in uh, remake, circle was dodge. So let's give it a shot. Okay, equipped materia can be used by assign or by pressing the assigned buttons while holding L1. Commands are assigned according to the slots in which materia are set through equipment in the main menu. Okay. Using magic expands expends MP and using abilities expends AP. Okay. So we get 95 AP, 87 MP. Okay. Alright. Uh, hold on, let me try and figure this shit out. Uh, fire a already? Okay. There's a lot more, uh, kinda... Okay, so circle... Ah, oh, shit, I keep... See, I keep pushing circle. Uh, it's a dodge. Just out of habit. Trophy here, come and get it. Not too bad. Piece of cake. I'll make first in no time. Go up the stairs at the end of the platform. You got it. <laughs> kind of hope this gives me a minute to kind of like hang back so I can kind of chat through this a little bit. Alrighty then. Okay, the slot reels spinning at the top left corner of the screen during battle represent the digital mind wave. When certain images or numbers match on the digital mind wave, it provides a variety of effects. The reels expend SP to automatically spin and stop. More images are collected as the game progresses. When images match, a limit break state is entered and a limit break move is added to your stock. Okay. Um, press. X to dodge enemy attacks and R1 to guard. By using L while dodging, you can change the direction in which you dodge. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Um, effects of numbers, no limit urge. If numbers match when the image reels are not in a limit verge state, certain enhancements can be gained. DMW, effects of numbers, no limit purge, 777 invincible, 666 critical, 555 no physical damage, 4440 AP cost, 333 no magic damage, 222 MP cost is zero until the end of the battle. Um, 111 is, okay, so that, that that's a, it's a lot, it's a lot of stuff. Okay. No MP cost activated. When the image reels are in a limit verge state, and the numbers are between one and six, uh, between one and six match, the materia on the corresponding slot will level up. One level is gained for a double match. This is a lot. Um, God damn it! Ah! 
I thought that was it. Shit. I can't fitting circle. It's a dodge, and I'm going to use all of my potions. Salt Twister? Try that again. Damn. Damn it. Okay, when all the image reels match, a limit break stage is entered, and the corresponding limit break move is added to your stock. Stock lim stock limit break moves can be unleashed at the time of your choosing, but they will all vanish at the end of the battle. Okay. Four months over. Oh, thank God. Here we go. Go, go, go. I really don't understand that limit thing. Ah. Damn it. That's actually quite handy. Take advantage of this while I got it. Oh. Okay. So now we gotta start being a little more careful. specific element? Shit. Fuck. Oh my god. Showing your back to the enemy. Overconfidence will destroy you. <sighs> what, what is this? Damn it. You're not the only hero. It's over. Impossible. Thanks, Angeal. Over. Why? You serious? I was just getting warmed up. your dreams huh. 
Huh? If you want to be a hero, you need to have dreams and honor. All right. Well, that was an interesting intro. Save game. Yes, please. Um, hopefully we can use quite a few different slots because I want to make sure that I can get a good amount. So that way if something goes wrong during recording, I can always go back. Cool. Um, call that good. Hey, Zack. You seem a little on edge. Can you blame me? All this... training... and no... assignments. Like they're... hanging me out to dry. You must be pretty busy... with everyone off base. Uh... off base? Wait, haven't you heard? There's been a mass desertion at Soldier. Huh? One of the firsts has deserted. Took a bunch of seconds and thirds with him. All from Wutai. Motive? Goal? All a mystery right now. This mass soldier desertion? Is why your training's on hold. Whoa. A first. Zack, you're up. Yeah, finally. Time for some real action. Yes, it'll be your show. Yes! Report to Director Lazard. There'll be a briefing. Zach. It's good to finally meet face to face. Lazard, Director of Soldier. Hey, uh. On to business. Soldier First Class Genesis. A month ago, he went missing during a mission in Wutai. Know anything about this? Not a clue. Hmm. The mission is currently stuck in limbo. That's why we've decided to send you. Uh, to Wutai? Yes. This war has gone on long enough. I've recommended huh? you for first. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Angel! I love you, man! <laughs> Angel! Uh, uh. Don't make me regret this, Zack. Sir. Once you're packed, you'll leave at once. After entering Wutai, we go straight to work. If you... Oh, shit. I didn't mean to skip that. Hey, Zach. Anything you want to know? Just ask. First, we should really go over combat. I'll say. You probably got a handle on it in training, but I sent you a mail explaining the basics. A mail? Take a look, okay? As the story progresses, you will receive mail from various people. You can view your mail by going to mail from the main menu. When you have unread mail, you can select R1 from the field menu to open it directly. Check your mail regularly. You can also check tutorials and useful tips from the main menu. Okay. Speak with Kunsel. Kunsel, that's that's really cool because um, in um, the remake, uh, when they're in the Shinra building, uh, a couple of uh, Shinra troops walk up to Cloud, and 
one of them recognizes him, and he's like, oh, man, I thought something happened to you, man. And he was like, oh, hold on a second. Let me go get Kunsel. And so I guess uh, this guy knows Cloud at some point in time. Um, okay. So... This is really cool because it's like, uh, I guess from this point, we kind of get a perspective of the operations of Soldier, which is something we obviously didn't get much of in uh, either the original or in Remake. But let's talk to this dude, you see what's take up. over the assignment as Genesis's replacement. As soon as you're ready, proceed to Wutai. Okay, so I don't know if this is like the time frame where the Wutai War is still going on. Uh, um, I was under the impression that that had ended already, but maybe not. I don't know. And also, from what I understand, uh, Zack has a new voice actor in this version of Crisis Core. But, you know, obviously, since I haven't played the original, I've, I've heard some people complaining about it where they're like, I'm just not used to it. And obviously, I've got nothing to compare it to, so that's kind of helpful as well. So, Let's see did you read it? I did not. Whoops. How do you read mail again? Okay. R1. Mail. Oh, that's a tutorial. I want inbox. Basic battle. Okay. So these are all tutorials, I'm guessing. Do I have to open up all these? This would probably be all really handy. Okay, HP can be restored through items and magic at save points. HP, AP, and MP are fully restored. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, battle. Enhancements. Um, when certain materia are used or when the DMW stops are a certain number, you will receive enhancement buffs that will provide you advantages in battle. Endure prevents falling damage from or prevents falling damage received. Barrier halves the damage from physical attacks and barrier halves damage from attack spells. Regen gradually recovers HP. Raise recovers from incapacitation. Critical all attacks all attacks become critical hits. That's pretty cool. Um, we kind of got null physical and null magic. Um, and invincible and those nulls all damage. Status ailments. Um, so we got poison, silence, curse, which prevents DMW rotation. Stun temporarily prevents action, and stop halts the flow of time. Okay. Magic, elements. Fire, blizzard, thunder, and so forth. You can do more damage to an enemy by using elements that they are weak against. When you're up against tough, tough opponents, try using elemental attacks that are effective against them. Okay. DMW Digital Mind Wave. So they spin automatically, and sometimes, I guess just during battle, you'll get these random buffs. Shops. So you can just shop from everywhere? Let's get some potions. Okay, materia. Equipping materia allows. Alright. Some materia have a parameter value, such as magic plus three attached to them so keep in mind to equip materia with the highest value some materia become more effective or raise certain status parameters as they level up indicated by the number of stars if you feel an enemy is too strong try reviewing your equipped materia and see if there's any way you can gain more of an advantage okay
Okay, so it doesn't look like you're going to be able to change his weapon. But you can change accessories and all that. Let me see if I have any. Nope. Alright, well. Don't know what to make of a whole lot of this at the current moment, but let's go ahead. So, did you read it? Yes. Oh, shit. So. I read it all. Thoughts? I mean, I doubt you'd get it all in one read. That is so not true. Well, it's there if you want to review. Oh, the materia you were using during training has been taken back. Powerful materia have to be earned. Those are the soldier rules. Now, let's talk about missions. The various services Shinra provides for civilians, those are what we call missions. To take on missions, you first have to register your information on the mission board. Pressing X in front of the mission board will allow you to accept missions. Areas that can be checked using X will be indicated Once by registered, monitor. you can look up mission information on your handset. I'll show you how to register on the board. Come on! Microphone's falling over. Uh -huh. There's a compass at the top of the field screen that points toward current destinations. Check it often to guide Zack towards its goal. You can open the map with square to check your current objective and destination. Okay. Blue is main event. Yellow, orangish is sub event. Perfect. Okay, so no sub events currently. There's Here. little time. Please get ready to go at once. Alrighty. Briefing. Okay, so I'm probably only gonna get to play this for like hour so I think I'll just try to get try to get through as much of this as I can here this is where you register your information having to click through the text is actually kind of weird I'm not used to that mission registration accepted. now that you're officially registered you should try a mission oh yeah good idea the save points that way if you're not completely sure about something Read the tutorial mail that I sent you. Progress can be saved to save points. Found throughout the game. HP, AP, and MP are fully restored to save points. Also, registering to take on missions can only be done at save points. Game may auto-save according to your progress, and an icon will be displayed when the game is auto-saved. Okay, that's good, because I... wasn't sure... if it was going to auto-save. When you clear a mission, you will receive rewards such as special material and accessories, and new missions will become available. You can take on available missions at any time, so you should take them on when you feel you are underleveled or wish to improve your skills. Select triangle at the save point to register for a mission directly. Okay. Mission 1, Shinra Electric Power Company. Training missions. Oh, and I get Thunderblade if I do it. Activating combat mode. Limit gauge has five stages, and the higher the stage, the higher the probability for a limit verge to occur. The gauge status changes according to various factors, such as entering limit break or receiving certain attacks. There's heavenly sky high, high, and normal, and low. Okay. Abilities such as assault twister become more effective if they are used after attack. The more successive attacks come before it, the stronger it becomes, so keep that in mind by using these abilities. Okay, so if I do like a combo hit and then Assault Twister. Elixir. Okay, so these are like combat training, I'm guessing. Nice work! You cleared the mission! I could have done it blindfolded. 
<laughs> You're the man. I can't wait to see how you do in Wu Tai. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Let me explain about these supply pods. In these pods, you'll find items that you can use in battle. Compliments of the company. So they're provisions for soldier members. Make sure they don't go to waste. Check the pods before every mission. Ah, I wonder what's in there today. Bronze bangle. All right, looks like you're all ready to head out. Lastly, let me tell you about mail. Just now, I sent mail to your handset. You can also get messages from Director Lazard and news about the company via mail. You should check it regularly. Who knows? Maybe you'll even get mail from new friends you make. Yes! But don't just read mail that you get from girls, okay? <clears throat> well, I guess that's everything. Looks like it's time for you to head out. You're with Angeal, right? Good luck. Yeah. Thanks for all the help. Zach can equip up to six materia and four accessories. Six materia is not a lot. You can set or change equipment by going to equipment from the main menu. Battle commands will be set according to where you equip your materia, so think carefully about what would be most intuitive for you. Okay. Um, items can be purchased at any time by going to shops from the main menu. That's kind of cool, actually. Shops become available when their addresses are acquired through mission rewards and other means. Okay. Uh, let's go to equipment and get that bronze bangle attached. So it looks, like, it looks like they said they took my material, hey, but... Hey, there's a limit to the free stuff you get, you know? The company's not that generous. Ah. Why is it still there for me to... You're with Angeal, right? Good luck. Okay. Oh. Let's do mission. Maybe I go talk to Angie. It's time yes. to head to Wu Tai. Are you ready? Let's head to Wu Tai. I'll be joining you as well. I'm counting on you. Sir! By the way, what is your dream? To become first? Is it? No. To become a hero. Ah, good. Unattainable dreams are the best kind. Uh, thanks? <laughs> Damn. Shots fired right out the gate. Fort Tamblin is straight ahead. Let's go. The unit is already standing by. You two there! Hold it! Okay then, leave this to me. Activating so this combat is what mode. Look like. Break that. Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. Okay, next. Calm down, Zach. No can do. I mean, the director is watching, right? So I have to make a good impression. Zach, heard of dumb apples? No, what's that? Incredible. You really don't know. Well, so much for you making first. <laughs> Whoa, wait! What's this dumb apple? Dumb apples. I feel like this is a 
I feel like he's fucking with us. Okay, so that's like a barricade of some kind. That looked observable. Let's, uh... Congrats on your first mail. Now that you've gotten your mail account ready, allow me to give your loyal and well-connected pal to give you lots of insider info. Why? Because I'm such a nice guy. And I know you and your one-tracked mind won't know what I know. Midgar is a city floating 50 meters in the air, linked to the ground by a train and highway transit. We utilize a total of eight Mako reactors subsequently numbered, starting with the northern reactor to supply electricity to the city. Construction continues smoothly. Shimmer Company headquarters and Sector 4 are the last on the schedule to be completed. The headquarters interior in Sector 0 is complete and already in operation. The exterior is slated for completion in two years. While the surrounding city will be finished in seven years. Reeve Tuetsi, Director of City Planning. That's cool to get a Activate get one from Reeve. Mode. You can flee from battle. No sense in that, I need to I get a grind. Oh, that could have been better. Alright. Activating combat mode. Tap private to get rid of him first. Conflict resolved. Oh, yeah. So, Angeal, what's the deal with dumb apples? The official name is Benora White. The trees bear fruit at random times during the year. Because of that, the townspeople affectionately call them dumb apples. The local farms had plenty of them to spare. Oh, really? So you stole them? We were poor, Zack. Nice excuse. But even then, I had my honor. The largest Benora white tree grew on a wealthy man's estate. It was rumored that those apples tasted the best. But I never stole from that tree because the wealthy man's son was my friend. If he was a friend, you should have just asked for some. Honor can be quite a burden at times. And what exactly does this have to do with me? No story is not worth hearing. <laughs> what? That's it? <laughs> yeah, well, thanks a lot. All right. So, um, let's do Angeal. Is this the save point, or? Let's go ahead and save real quick. Now that we're another 20 minutes in. Okay. So it looks like once we cross this barrier, um, I'm assuming that means we can't go back. Um... Just trying to make some general impressions thus far, but uh, this fellow Angeal, who obviously, like, obviously we've seen him. He has a uh, cloud sword, which I'm sure we know. I'm going to try to be as spoiler free as possible, but like, it's so tough given that this one is a prequel. Um, but obviously, that becomes Zack's sword at some point in time. I don't know if it's early in the game or if it's later in the game, um, but he seems to be a mentor to Zack. Uh, they look an awful lot alike, so I'm not sure if they're related or not. I don't know if, it, like, if someone told me it was his dad, it wouldn't, like, shock me. I don't think. <sighs> the unit will set off an explosion. That's our cue. The diversion will allow us to infiltrate. Right. 
I'll set the bomb inside the fortress. You'll charge the front gate and... Uh-huh. And? And, and, and? Indulge yourself. You got it. That's what I do best. Uh, come on, B unit. <sighs> you know, I've never actually seen you use that. Don't you think it's sort of a waste? Use brings about wear, tear, and rust. And that's a real waste. You're serious, aren't you? Yeah. I can be pretty cheap. Yeah, no kidding. Begin mission. <laughs> Heightened emotions have affected the DMW. As you progress through the story, his acts emotions toward characters he meets are sometimes heightened, and this turns this in turn affects the DMW. When Zach's emotions are heightened, the relevant characters' image reels have a greater chance of entering Limit Verge. I also didn't get to mention how like weird it was that uh, they were in a training sim, and then Sephiroth popped in. It's just one man! Prepare to swarm him! Oh boy, howdy. Activating Let's combat see how mode. we can deal with this. Um, switching targets. Okay. Yes, yeah, so and Jill seems like a much different um, personality than uh, Zach. Uh, Zach seems a little uh, eager to get into uh, get into the action, whereas uh, Angel seems a little more patient. You know, he even said he was like, "I've never seen you use your sword," which is kind of funny given the, uh, given the context we know. This combat system is like kind of basic, but it's actually like I, I think it's pretty fun. No MP cost activated. Time frame. Like, how how soon before the events of seven is this game? Um, looks like there's still conflict with Wu Tai going on. Are you in? Piece of cake. Could have done it blindfolded. Stay alert. I've heard the Wu Tai keep a monster around for anti-soldier purposes. It should be somewhere in the fort. So if I can take it out. Will I make first? Depends on the quality of work. Your main task is diversion. Run amok and gather attention. Do well, and you'll gain favor with Director Lazard. That'll be a cakewalk. Just watch. Okay, assault on Fort Tamblin. Enter Fort Tamblin and defeat as many Wu Tai troops as possible. The more enemies you defeat, the better your evaluation as a soldier will be. Wutai troops are lurking within various places, such as rotating walls and fortress towers. Make sure you are doing a thorough search. 
In the field, you can dash to move quicker. Okay. Well, now I want to, like, check everything. Let's see here. Activating combat mode. Oh, what the hell? Um, weaknesses can be identified with an element icon that appears in the enemy's name. Okay. It's like weak to ice. Oh, yeah. oh that's pretty cool. Oh, come on now. Soma tank. What does Soma do? I wonder. There's gotta be something here. Down to restore HP to full. Oh. There he is! Get him! Activating combat mode. Missed. Oh, he's sneaky. There we go. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was, that was actually something I didn't like very much about the uh, remake, is that you can miss with uh, Blizzard a whole lot easier than him getting abilities. Okay, so that's four. There's five. Oh! Get him the reloading. Wait, hold on. What are you? Mmm, knew it. Activating combat mode. Oh, yeah. I gotta get better about switching between the targets. Nothing. Oh, I've been bamboozled. Activating combat mode. Activating combat mode. Oh my lord, I am out of MP. to be um, using as much. I might be using too much MP and AP right now. Uh, shit, I came from there. Oh, I definitely don't want to close we it out. Ready, fire! Give it up! More troops are on route! It's over! Find a different route. So that seems like activating combat mode. Yeah, that seems like it's indicating like the end of the mission. I would rather get all of it done. Oh yeah. 
Okay. Ether. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Activating combat mode. I was hoping to get started right. too with that. Conflict resolved. This is Lazard. Enemies appear to be lurking in every corner. This fortress will not fall easily. Yeah. Just now, I was checking out a revolving wall and was jumped. Other walls may be trapped too. Stay alert. S Remnant forces seen near the revolving walls. Okay. So should I check? I wonder if I should go back and check the other walls that I had seen. It's like huh? that one, for instance. Hear a voice. Fort Tamblin will not fall to a lowly group of thugs like soldier. The enemy could be lurking anywhere. Keep your eyes open. Soldier is a formidable foe. Still, to protect our homeland, we must stand against our enemies, no matter what. Even if it means our lives. In Wu-Tai, <laughs> retreat is never an option. What? Retreat! Against bad odds, retreat is the best strategy! <laughs> okay. Uh, I feel like there's still more. I think this was the... This might have been the way where they... This was, yeah. Okay, so let's keep checking around for... Revolving doors. How about this one? Face us, soldier! If you dare! Huh? Where did he go? Sneaky little pest. <laughs> Treachery! Treachery. Activating combat mode. Right there. Got him! <laughs> Conflict resolved. Hmm. Uh, I feel like there was one more, at least. I think this just takes me back to the other way. And this was the, this the very beginning, I think. Yes. Okay. So I've got two more. I want to make sure I get them, because I don't want to... I don't want to miss anything. So that door should go to this side of the wall right here. Already got that one, I think. This is the one that led to... Already got that one, because that one's still on the other side. Perfect. And this is the one that led to, like, the very end. Cool. So I think I got the hidden ones. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't done. Yet. Activating combat mode. Okay, sumo restores MP. Damn, I was gonna hit another Soma. Good work, Zach. Enemy forces within the fort have been halved. You can proceed to the central area. Take it all the enemies here first. Eliminate any remaining enemies you find. Perfect. Okay. So there's one more set that I'm missing. 
here, maybe? Is it this one? Oh, okay. Activating combat mode. Oh, that was sick. Perfect. Ah, that's all of them. Sick. Zach, nicely done. We have successfully occupied the fort. I just needed you to keep their attention, but <laughs> impressive. You did well. Keep pressing forward. Assault on Fort Tamblin complete. Okay, do I go out here now? Ah, uh, that must be the central area. Oh shit. Shit, did not mean to Two potions. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Damn it. Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. That's cool. That's kind of an option in between where you can click uh, restore to full HP. So that's pretty frequently what I end up doing. We'll go actually this way first. Check the other direction. Soma obtained. Activating combat mode. There we go. this do what's this that is Wu Tai's guardian deity the great Leviathan we are the Wu Tai army's elite the Crescent we serve Leviathan and smite Wu Tai's enemies oh, shit. soldier of Shinra a query is the goal of this invasion to spread your Mako reactors Yes, a reactor here would allow people to live better lives. And that includes you. This better life that you speak of comes at the grave cost of losing our homeland. Pain and despair, that's what you bring. <sighs> One more question. You have power, so I must ask, why do you use it to cause evil? Is it wrong to spread happiness through Mako energy? Is that what you consider evil? I thought we could reason with each other as warriors. But sadly, I was mistaken. Then let us settle things as warriors. Come forth! Activating combat mode. <laughs> Okay, one down. Take that. 
I was actually worried that was going to be much harder than it was. Why won't you finish me? Eh, not in the mood. As long as we draw breath, we will oppose Shinra. Now, finish it. Oh, come on. I can't help but feel like that was optional. Nope. Get back over there. Save again real quick. Only level six. Alright. Close this mission out and then we'll One. we'll call that the day. Avoid training when you can. Two. Protect Wu Tai at all costs. Oh. Three. Ugly Shinra soldier dudes must be punished. Who are you? Bro, what? I'm Wu Tai's greatest warrior. It's over for you because now you have to face me. A little kid? This area is not safe for you. Go on home now. You're the uh. one going home. If you want to go any further, you're going to have to go through me. Oh, man. What am I supposed to do here? Shushu ha! Take that, bad guy! <sighs> Shushu ha! Ah, no! You got me! Ha <laughs> ha! That'll teach you to mess with me once again. I saved Wu Tai. Boy, oh boy. That's a lot of energy. Now, back to work. Bro, I actually thought we were fighting Kid Yuffie for a minute. That's that's pretty sick. Oh my god, that was that was really cool. I actually really like that scene. That's really cool that they included that. Especially given the, so okay, that kind of gives a little bit of a time frame because she looks like like I think it would be canon if she was like this was like seven years ago. Boss you fight. must be the anti-soldier monsters. Activating combat mode. Okay. Let's see here. Some enemies use special abilities in battle. When these abilities are activated, the enemy will enter a casting phase and an ability gauge will be displayed. You can lower the gauge by attacking an enemy, which in turn decreases its ability's impact. Furthermore, you can reduce the gauge to zero within the allotted time. You can cancel the ability entirely. <laughs> Okay, one down. Attacking from behind, we actually get three full hits. Okay, alright. So far, so good. Shit. 
Zax experience points reach a certain value, the DMW will sometimes stop at 777, in which case Zack will level up and his status parameters will be strengthened. It is not possible to check actual experience points. Okay. Whoa. Up materia. Soldier second class Zack. Victorious again. Good work. Now, get out of there. You've only got five minutes. Got it. Director Lazard, are you watching? <laughs> Gotta move. <sighs> No time to play! Yeah, this is going five minutes. Uh. That's one more you owe me. <laughs> you lost your focus. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry if your sword got any wear, tear, or rust on it. You're a little more important than my sword. But just a little. Thanks. I'm here. I must apologize. Being on site is taxing. You didn't have to come personally. This operation will bring an end to the war. I wanted to see it through. Soldier second class, Zack. Sir! You put forth a good effort at Fort Tamblin. I saw it with my own eyes. To be frank, my evaluation is... Your work here far exceeded my expectations. Keep this up, and the day you make first may not be far off. And Jill. You were right about him. He definitely has potential. <laughs> we'll see. I can say this now, but when Angeal first recommended you, I was skeptical. At that time, all I'd ever seen you do were squats. Zack, let's go. Sephiroth is waiting. Ooh. Sephiroth? The hero? Wow! I'm gonna meet a hero! Uh, 
Jesus. Just let me escape, guys. Activating combat mode. Take the director to safety. Contact Sephiroth. Zack can handle it. Now go! Follow me, director. Director Lazard. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. Zack, I should be fine now. Assist and Geo. Yeah, I'm on it. So, just given all this, um, this seems like it's probably a good stopping point right here. Um, or is it? You know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and finish at least this mission. Okay. What more preparing could I need to? I'm like, what I need and to Gio. do. And Geo! What? These guys aren't Mutai troops. Oh no. Oh, it gives a skip option, but nah, I think I'll watch this. See how much this fucks me up. This was one of the things I heard they completely redid was the summon animations for uh That was dumb. I hit him with fire.
Got him. Assault Twister obtained. I thought I got that one already. Genesis. The missing soldier first class? They're identical. A Genesis copy. Copy? A human copy? Where's Angeal? I thought he was fighting around here. <laughs> so he's gone too. What? Wait, what does that mean? It means Angeal has betrayed us as well. No way! I know what kind of guy Angeal is, and he'd never do that! <laughs> Angeal wouldn't betray us! Never! God damn. All right, I think that's probably a good stopping point um, for real this time. Damn, I got up to level eight. All right, cool. We will call it quits right there. And I'm probably going to end up uploading this whole hour and 20 minute recording have it uploaded first thing in the morning and then probably come back at some point um, later on in the week and play some more. Alright, cool. Well, that'll be it for now.